Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins, where I am at the point of the competition where I had to tell Alistair that I'm supporting Anora in the land's meet. You have? Huh. Hmm. I'm really. I hope you are, actually. actually. The land's meet may not listen to you, and Al Eamon would go right back into a coma <laughs> if you told him. But me? I'm relieved. I guess all we need to do is stop her father from taking the throne first, right? Uh... Yes, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um... That should be the easy part. Right you are. We have to convince everyone that there are monsters that need fighting. Who would have thought? Okay, whew! Alright then. No approval, but no disapproval, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Alright. Okay. <laughs> I was just kind of worried that I, like, the flag would keep triggering or whatever that I had, like, been, like, romanced him or something. So. Glad that that's not the case. I am not. I'm just gonna pass out <laughs> if you keep saying that. <laughs> Stan! What is your wish, Kadan? Also, I'm going to pass out if you keep calling me that. <laughs> Speak, then. All right. Then I suggest we move on. Uh, question! I am hardly surprised. No, never mind. Very well. Okay, bye-bye. As you uh, wish. Bye-bye. Morgan! Eldester's not going to be king! I don't know if that actually influences her in any way. What comes, my friend? I would like your advice. We are in camp, so tis as good Never a time. Never mind. Wish I could talk to her more. Shell, how you doing? Everything going all good over here? It speaks. Uh, you're still... I have questions? It doesn't have okay. better thing on them. Uh, Ogren. Let's talk to Ogren and see if he's got anything to say. He's got his helmet on. Oh, the other guys do too. <laughs> Ass oh my chaps. gosh. You there. I, you. <laughs> I've been watching you. Where can I get some sauce for that rump? Oh roast? my gosh. <laughs> what? Right here, you mad dwarven stallion. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, oh no. Ogren, go sleep it off. Ooh, that's oh, just shoot. what I had in mind. <laughs> go and make yourself <laughs> ready, woman. I'll be right there. You're to gonna see pass to out it. before you get further than two feet. Yep. Yep. Wake up, Ogren. You saw it. Tell that thing to give it back. Uh, uh what are you seeing? Oh, are you having Ogren time again? <laughs> Only if by Ogren time you mean. <sighs> oh! That's it. oh! That dog ruined it when he stole oh! my pants. I'll show him. Yeah, I don't need my pants anyway. Uh, yes, you do. You need your pants. Aye, that's <laughs> why I need to crack that dog over his sodding head. You hear that, Nug Humper? I'm coming for you. Prepare to die. Uh, I think my doggy's got good chances against you, Ogren. You're like the most dynamic character in here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Warden, you gotta okay. hear this one. This human walks into a tavern. <laughs> what is this? There's an elf there, and she says, <laughs> And she says, <laughs> uh, And then what? She says, I don't. <laughs> Oh, he's a character. Oh my gosh, he is so drunk. I got a moment. Are you not drunk sure. anymore? Uh, I'd like to know more about you. What about? Second thought. All right. Talk more later. Hi. All right then. Um. Finally. Give all amethyst. Turning crafting materials, give all deep mushrooms, and death roots. 
Okay, I'll turn in some coins. Uh, two sovereigns. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm running low on money and I'm trying to save up. Turn in runes. Nah. You are good to your troops, Warden. Thank you. That nug is so ugly, Leliana. Alright, hang on. Let me save again. I'm gonna talk to her again and hope she doesn't hate me. I know that look. You have something on okay, your so mind, we're still friends. don't you? We need to talk. Of course. Um, I'm sorry I had to end it. Don't apologize. It is something you felt you needed to do. I cannot question that. And life goes on, yes? I will be all right. Come, let's move on. I am sorry. Oh, she approves. She's glad I apologized. Okay. I know that look. You have something on she your mind, don't you? She is adorable. If I wasn't, like, romancing Zebra at first, I was actually thinking about switching over to Leliana for a while there. Of course. What will you do when this is all over? Mm, I have not given this hmm. a lot of thought. What will I do? We've traveled far and wide. Does nope. it need to end? I would like to see. It's so wonderful to hear you say that. I don't know if I'm interested in more death. Uh, I think I would like to see the world too. There's so much out there. I was Adventures a circle mage. I hadn't had seen anything. Stories to be told. I want to be part of it all. I might need some company. And you're <laughs> not too irritating. You're welcome to come really? along if you like. I would love to. When you put it that way, I have to say I would love to. <gasps> Can we really? You and I wandering the world, seeking our fortunes. Really? I can't wait. Oh wow! We got massive cunning. Nice. I wonder if we like lost it and then we got it back again. Wow. That actually like makes me really happy. Like, that sounds like something to look forward to after this. Like, be it'd be really fun if Zebrad came too. <laughs> we could all just go on the road and. I don't know if my responsibilities as a Grey Warden would be overshadowed by that, but I think, I don't know. She was a circle mage, locked up in the tower almost her whole life. Like, she wants to see the world, you know? And then after that, maybe I'll go be the, the enchanter or something, the grand enchanter or whatever, you know? We'll see, I don't know. But it's nice to know there's possibilities. I know that, look. You have something on your mind, don't you? I hope all of this is feasible. You? Of course. Uh, I've heard some rumors about Orlesian spies. There are many rumors about spies, Orlesian or otherwise. What are you referring to exactly? The... They say you will do... Uh, something I heard that made spies seem... De they say you will do almost anything to achieve your goals. I admit I have done many despicable things in my lifetime. I do what I have to do. So do you. So does everybody. Sometimes we must do terrible things to get what we want. If it is any consolation, I always try to use nonviolent means to achieve my ends. That's a. Uh, it often takes more effort. Uh, that's that's good to hear. Some bards rely on really? torture to get what they want. It works effectively, as many will bend under the but threat of But you also don't get harm. good information that way. But there are better ways, more subtle and kind. You will be surprised how easily a person will open up to you, even if all you offer is a listening ear. People respond eagerly to others who they believe understand them. They seek approval, friendship, sometimes love. This can be exploited. Good to know. It is a game, one that can be won with little bloodshed if one it's plays true. well. Um... You thought it was a game? Isn't it? Everyone can be seduced by the right woman. The trick is predicting who she is and becoming her. Master the game and no one can resist you. Uh... <laughs> I was gonna maybe disagree with that in some ways, but I could, I guess... If you mean seducing, it just means sexual, but like, you know, being seduced into a friendship or a trusting relationship or something. 
Uh, and would you say you've mastered this game? If I might be so bold, yes. I was quite good at it. Sometimes, all I had to do was toss a glance and a smile. Men read promises into such things, and will go to great lengths to see that promise fulfilled. <laughs> Maybe you can smile at the blight and tell it to go away? I could... <laughs> oh, aren't you funny? <laughs> I see your point. <laughs> we will slay this darkspawn using conventional means, points of <laughs> tips and all that. But come, it is getting late, and I there know. is much it's to be done. I know, it's not nearly so fun. Oh, she approves, yay! Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good on that. Okay, puppy dog, anything? You are so excitable. Okay, what were we doing? We were in Denerim, and I was bringing Zeb. Oh, we were yes. going to the alienage, and I wanted to bring Win. Yes. I really want to bring Alistair, too. But Stan will probably say such interesting yes. things. But Stan and Liliana, no. Horse no. Feathers. Indeed. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Uh, this is so hard. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> uh, we'll see, maybe if it's like, if it's like, if there's like a, a talky thing and everybody like says something, maybe I'll have to come back and forth and just bring who I like the bestest. So come now, I'm no! sure this time. Tell I me wanna hear reason. Stan and Liliana. Certainly not. You've told the Grey Wardens of your vision, have you not? Why them and not I? <laughs> you said that you intended to make fun of me. You actually said that. It was funny at the time, but come. Surely you can see I'm serious now. I honestly wish to know. That's too bad. I honestly don't come wish on, to Come on, we're gonna travel together. Then I suspect you don't even believe in your own vision. <gasps> what? Oh. I, that's not true. I do believe in it. Then you would stand by it, oh. no matter what the consequences. Sneaky. Do you intend to make fun of me? Well, yes. I can't help it. I, you, I simply... <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Stan's just like standing there like, okay, children. All right, no, no, I want to hear Stan and Leliana say something, so we're going to go back and forth until Stan and Leliana say something. Um, here, we'll travel to camp. That's, that's fast. We've explored 74% of the world. Wow. Can we, can we talk about you and Zevran? I was a little emotional when we last spoke about it. Uh, yeah, of course we can talk. I wanted to apologize for the things I may have said. You were, I you were actually very kind. I had no right to be. You are a dear friend, and I want you to be happy. And whatever you choose, know that I will stand by you. Thank you. I know that look. You have Me. something. Of course. Any more tales? Of course I do. I love stories far too Alindra. much to keep them to myself. Everyone should oh, be I able remember. to benefit from them, I think. Um, Which one? I thought of it. It will come to you soon, I'm well, that sure. It was very nice of her to, you know, come out of, you know, make a little cutscene and everything. Like, jeez. I wonder if I had kept it up with her a little bit, if Zevran would have been like, hey. Yes. I don't know, though. Indeed. Yes. Okay. And if you and Zevran, and you, if you go, if, I want Stan and Liliana to talk because they're so freaking cute. So cute. Poor Ogren has mangled stats because of what I did to him in the deep roads. Freaking gave him a one-handed weapon. I 
Sten's picture is so funny looking down there. Oh, come on! No. Well, it was worth it to get a cutscene with Liliana. Um. Let's see. Should I save it? Should I save it here? Where am I going? Oh, there was the thing with the Grey Wardens, too. Um. Uh. Warehouse. Is it the warehouse? He said it was past the Nod Noble Tavern. Which is over here. No, that's the alienage. Should we be... Wait, someone's listening. You sure? I'm nervous as a cat in a kennel. We're asking for trouble. Quiet. We haven't done anything. Yet. Yet? What are you guys talking about? Are you guys planning something? We were about the son of Merrick. You bastard from Redcliffe are here. We're supposed to be impressed. If R. Lehman's standing up for him, I'd say we should be. I don't know why R. Lehman is complicated with things. I thought he would calm all this fighting down, not make everyone even more up. Oh, so if I get close enough, do they start to freak out? But they gossip regardless? Okay. But it looks like um, the alienage is open, yes? Right? I mean, the gate's up. What are you... No. Okay. What? No. Okay, I was trying to talk to the guard, but whatever. <laughs> I'm really freaking... I'm actually really nervous. I don't know if I'm mentally ready to go into the alienage. I don't want to... I don't want to see... Dead elves everywhere. Just the pawns of powers that be. Alienate. There have always been alienages. They've been around for as long as elves and shems have been the same lands. Ours isn't even the worst. See that Valroy has 10,000 elves living in a space no bigger than Denerim's market. Their walls are supposedly so high that daylight doesn't reach the Ven Venadal until midday. But don't be so anxious to start tearing down the walls and picking fights with the guards. They keep out more than they keep in. We don't have to live here, you know. Sometimes a family gets a good break and they buy a house in the docks or the outskirts of town. If they're lucky, they come back to the alienage if the looters have burned, down, have burned their house down. The unlucky ones just go to the pauper's fields. Here, we're among family. We look out for each other. Here, we do what we can to remember the old ways. The flat ears who have gone out there, they're stuck. They'll never be human. And they've gone and thrown away being elven, too. So where does that leave them? Nowhere. A flat ear is somebody who tries to be human? Why did that lady call... In Inquisition, there's a girl, an elven woman who calls one of the elven mages a uh, flat ear. And I never really understood the insult. They are on the outsides of town. Dang! Ramshackle! Another one. You're Big a on. mage, and that is a gorgeous robe. Eat. Can't go over there. Okay. Who are you? You and Oh. You seem to be something out of place here. I don't want any trouble. I'm just on my way to the docks. We told you to stay out of our alienage. Ah. Uh. You too good to listen to elves? What do you want? Money? Money? You think you can buy us? You think we're so far beneath you, we'll just take whatever you... Someone's coming. You really shouldn't have come in here, guy. I Get away from me, you oh, crazy it's knife true. ear! I'm a knife ear. Um, are you alright? Just stay away from me. I'm leaving, all right? I didn't think about that. I am an elf. Syrian's house. I'm not going to just walk into somebody's house. What did I call you? Starved veteran of what? Spare silver for a war veteran? Uh... Where did you get injured, soldier? Ostagar. What? Darkspawn took off half my foot. 
give one sovereign. Hope this will get you off the street. Oh, Andraste, bless you, sir. I won't forget your face. No, I won't. Oh, okay. Thank you, You're sir. Welcome. Uh, whoa. What is that? Is that a dead Mabari? Bearing arms is strictly prohibitive. Elves who have swords will die upon them. Feral dog. Okay, I wonder if I had my dog if they would like talk or something. Elves plant these trees to remind themselves of who they once were, and then they pee on it. Charming symbolism, what? really. Really? Oh. Whoa! Okay. How do you even know they're working magic? They could just be chanting gibberish. It's not as if you'd ever know. What's going on? Wait. No, like... Uh, there's Shiani preaching again. Won't she ever shut up? Sh that's Shiani. What? No, I'm trying to look at, like... Healer Serator. Uh, who's Sarani? Oh, Shiani. I've got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. So go home. The best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans. Everyone remain calm. We will help as many as we can today, so long as we can do this in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're helping us, are you, Shem? Like Valendrian and my Uncle Sirian, you helped them, didn't you? Help them never to be seen again. We've explained this to you before, girl. More whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out to the alienage. Quit trying to get us all killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantine perfectly healthy? What's going on? You must not be from around here. Wait. Soros told me about <gasps> you. You were oh, the one who freed him okay, from the dungeons. Good. These foreigners say they're here to help with our outbreak of plague. Funny thing, though. All the people they help disappear. That's not true, and you know it, Shiani. Both my sisters got the Tevinter spell cast on them, and they're fine. Where's your niece, then? And my Uncle Sirian? And Valendrian? Um... So, uh, there's magic being used, uh, um, uh, tell me what's happening here. These foreigners have taken dozens of elves into that house over the last few weeks, and foreigners. none of them have been seen again. One of them was our Hiren, Valendrian, and I don't know what we're going to do if we He's don't get him He's the elder, back. right? Does the guard know about this? They have to know about it. The Haran complained, and so did I. They just don't care, or... This something is suspicious. Worse. Um, I'll try talking to the healers. You can try. Those guards mean business. So do I. Um... You've learned that there's a plague spreading about the alienage men from the Deventer Imperium right here. Supposedly a help. But it seems they're taking both sick and healthy elves into the quarantine and that no one has ever seen them again. Perhaps this is worth investigating. From the Taventer Imperium? For reals? For reals? Healer Varus. There is no need to push. We will work our spell for each person in... Isarians, mercy. How long have you been ill, woman? You should have come Don't here days ago. Don't attach to me. Oh, um, hmm... If I could get in the hospice, uh, should I do that first? Uh, come to think of it, I have been feeling run down. It's small wonder you can even stand. Come, <laughs> we must get you into quarantine. Uh, uh, fine, I'll go with you. The rest of you must stay back. Only the sick are permitted inside. Uh... What? No! My friends? No! They can't go with me. I'm not going in. 
Guards, help me subdue her. What? Oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh! What's in the maker's name is this? Me? What? What's going on? <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, I don't know. Can, is this one of those unbeatable fights? Maybe? Ah! Um, let's get started. Uh, what are two winter soldiers doing here? Shoot. Oh my gosh! Somebody just used blood magic everywhere! Oh my gosh! Oh no! Um. Oh, I don't know! Um. Okay, oh wow. Press buttons. Let's start pressing buttons. Start pressing buttons. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Let's get started. Right. Who is using blood magic? On it. Right. Let's get started. Uh, oh, nice! Did you see that move I just did? What in tarnation? What in tarnation blazes just happened? Oh my gosh! Um. What does my quest log say? <laughs> uh, hang on. Okay, I think I actually need to reload that. L hang on, let me... Uh, where did it save me? Uh, the elven alienage? Oh, was it right before I started the attack or whatever? We'll, we'll try it. It might be right before the attack started. I want to explore the alienage more first, you know? Like, that seems like a better idea to get kind of a lay of the land outside and then get inside. Because I do need to get in there. And I could probably kill them and just go in. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and go in sneakier. Yep, okay. Nope. Uh... And the maker's name is this. Stop and I don't know, like, are they, do they actually think they're doing? He has a very soothing voice, you know? Um, oh, what? I didn't say, oh, I stayed right outside. Okay, I remember. Um, but he sounds like he legitimately is worried about people, but what sort of, what is, what are they saying is a symptom? Like, I don't look like anything. And why are the elves trusting people from Tevinter? Like, I wouldn't think they'd trust Shems in the first place, but Tevinter Shems? Like, like that seems really out of, they must be really desperate. Or something. I don't know. Are they just not thinking straight? Because elves and Tevinter mages don't generally have a very great, or Tevinter, you know, in people don't get along very well. As far as I'm aware, anyway. As far as I know. Uh, ah, an alien edge. And the same everywhere, oh. aren't they? Of our alienage, Shem. Someone's coming. Get away from me, you crazy nuts! Well, why are you walking through the alienage? Uh, well, are you all right? Just stay away. F Meh. Star veteran. Spare a silver for a war veteran. Where'd you get injured, soldier? Ostagar. Dark Give spawn took. Oh. Okay. What was up here? A sick elf. I don't think I can talk to him. Whoa! Whoa, you you're like super sick. <laughs> wow, wow, you're just like passed out, prone on the ground. I can't just walk into people's houses. There's a freaking like skinned Mabari. That's really gross. Uh, we'll save, yeah, might as well. Meh, we'll save. I'll do a new save. I don't see a whole lot of, you know, 
death and horror. Feral dog. Why is a feral dog? That's that is the tree of people, I believe. Oh, the okay, that's what that is. Okay, I like that. That's beautiful. She's like super starving. Valendrian's house can't go in there yet. I'm oh, oh! I didn't know I could pick multiple. Landmark tree. Okay, we'll go over there. Hello. What are you doing, guy? You are a Templar? Is someone there? Make us blessing oh. to you, child. Be not afraid. I still have some sight to see you by. Um, who are you? It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Sir Otto. I am a Templar. I lost my sight in a battle with a powerful Malefica. He called flame from the air and burned my face. The scars have healed, but my sight will never recover. Um, I'm sorry. Don't be. Many of my brethren died in that battle. Um, what is the Templar doing here? We'd heard rumors that there's an enclave of Maleficarum hidden in the alien. Why'd they send a blind one? Why did they... Are you in any condition to fight Maleficarum? Sadly, not anymore. But I have years of hard-won experience. Often the chase is as difficult as the resolution. So I do the maker's work in whatever way I can. Why they send you instead of someone more healthy? I volunteered for it. I was most I'm adamant. Sure. I took my vows yeah, to serve the chant. I, I can respect that. Not sit idly oh, yeah. by. You found anything? I have found no evidence of Maleficarum in the alienage. However, there is something else. This place, it's scarred like me. Hmm. When I came here, I immediately could feel an air of hopelessness, despair. You're in an but alien over time, age. I felt the wrongness runs far deeper than that. What do you mean? There's Tevinter mages over there, the and they are blood mages, I can tell you wanes. that. And so I attempt to puzzle it Why out. Why has nobody bothered you? I don't suppose I could impose upon you. I would gladly help. It took patience, but some elves opened up to me, and I've heard their sad tales. But I found no real evidence to support my fears. Ears alone have done all they can. I was hoping you could be my eyes. Look around the alienage for anything out of the ordinary. Uh, what should I look for? I don't know. I have Gee, a feeling thanks. that there is something to be found, though. You seem capable. I have hope that you will find what I seek. Make her watch over you, child. Thank you. And you as well. Something wicked this way comes. I feel like I've heard that name, Sir Otto. Were you sick elf or why are all the sick elves just out? Is Mother Bowen here what? yet? <coughs> What's taking her so long? Who's Mother Bowen? I don't know that name. Uh, official notice. Elves who have swords will die upon them. <coughs> Uh, a methine. Mama never came back from High Ever. What's taking her so long? From High Ever? Okay. What's she doing in High Ever? Working? Uh, if you're really so worried about this plague, go home. Crowding around here is. It's true. How do you even know they're working magic? They could just be chanting gibberish. It's not as if you. I feel know. like we've looked at everything we can. Hospice. Oh. Uh. Okay, but where's the side entrance? Alienist tree. Okay. The tree of the people. I've ah! Got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. So go. Okay. Everyone. Oh, you're. <sighs> Quick, try. If this spell of theirs works. What's going on? You must. Wait. These four. That's not. Where's your niece then? And my uncle Sirius. So 
Tell you, me what's happening. One of them was our Haran, Valendrian. Do the and guys I don't know, know what, about this? They have to know about I'll it. I'll try. The Haran complained, yeah, and so did I. I'll try. They just don't care or something I'll worse. Take a look in the hospital. They won't just let you in. Um maybe there's another way inside? Well, there is another entrance in the alley. There's no crowd watching. You can try. Those guards mean business. All right. Um, I probably won't take the side entrance. I'll probably just try to sneak. Oh, shale. Uh, right. We knew that. Ogren. We read about Ogren. Uh. Liliana. Here with you. Knowing the freedom of the road and the answer needed tomorrow, I feel alive again. A lay sister of the Chantry who can beat the stuffing out of trained mercenaries would be notable enough, but one who also claims to have been sent to fight the Darshan by the Maker himself is unusual to say the least. Uh, her decision to join the Chantry. Oh, so was it added in the beginning? Okay. Okay. Oh, right. Huh. Haha, -ha, he died at my hands. <laughs> so we could go in the side entrance, but I think I'm going to play sick. Boop, boop. Just in case. I feel like there's more of the alienage that we can find. But there's a store over there. Boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Ah, get out. Okay, are, are we okay? Ooh, it's a nice store. How long were you in that cloister, my dear woman? Just over two years. Why do you ask? And and all the brothers and sisters. Oh my gosh, one track bombs? mind. Most of them, yes. For two years you had no contact with anyone but men and women who who are promised to some uncaring god? What are you getting at? Didn't you didn't you desire companionship during those two years? Two years. Two years! Two years! <laughs> week. My time in the cloister was a time of contemplation. I occupied myself with thoughts of the Mako and other Worthy pursuits, but like I said, most of the brothers and sisters had taken vows. Not all of them. Some were just affirmed, like me. Aha! That is not so bad, then. Nothing happened, Zivran. It would not be right to engage in that behavior in a house devoted to the Maker. Why? The Maker made us who we are. He made our urges. <laughs> he gave us these parts. You think he made them for looks? <laughs> Good point, Zavran. I guess. Hi, Bucko. Tell me something. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Are you from High Ever, Redcliffe? Welcome to Denver. In the circle, actually. What's going on? Why are Tevinters here? They came to treat the blight. The blight plague. plague. You did know about the plague. You don't you? have the blight up here. Why would Tevinters care about a plague in Ferelden? They don't want it spreading to the Imperium. Plague made it to Denerim from the south by trade routes, after all. No reason it couldn't cross the sea the same way. Why come here? What kind of treatment do they have? It's magic. I suppose in the Imperium, they use magic to boil water and cross the nah. street. The Chantry sent a Templar to watch them the first day. If the Chantry says it's safe, it must be. It's supposed to keep you from getting sick. If you're already ill, though, well, they take you into quarantine. There isn't any healing magic I know that works that way. I don't know. Either you don't get the plague because you got their magic put on you, or you don't get it because you just got lucky. But it can't Are hurt, you right? joking me? <laughs> magic can hurt, man! Uh, how long are people quarantined? No one who's gone in has come out again. Do Could you not care about that? There. Could be they've recovered and just can't come back yet. Why are they- where? In the hospice on the corner. Don't think they'll let you in, though. You're an idiot! It wouldn't be- good day. As I said, the oh, shop is closed. Oh, you didn't tell me that, actually. You'll have to go somewhere else. Uh, I'm only looking for information. Well, I might be able to help you, depending on what you need. One or more Norabonde Adventures! 
They've Be darn near to be foreigners. What did you want to know exactly? Uh, where did the comp plague come from? From the blight. Refugees carried the sickness here from West Hills and Lothering. I've heard that along the Imperial Highway, there's so many dead the vultures have gotten too fat to fly. Uh, what are they doing about the plague? They have magic that protects you. It's fine. I really doubt. The Chantry I really Templar doubt they actually the did. I bet you it was a fake Templar. If the Chantry says this magic the Chantry is safe, would not let it must be. It's supposed to keep blood you from mages getting sick. Operate here. You're already ill, though. Well, they take you into quarantine. Uh, there is an alien healing. I don't know. Where are they going? In the okay, hospice I'll on the corner. Good day. Good day to you too, idiot. Um. All right, I think I will call this one here really quick. Uh, when we get back, hopefully I can fake my way into the hospice, but I will probably have to be without my companions. So, that's interesting. We'll have to see how that goes, I guess. Um, but thank you all for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.